Well, hey, YouTube. Um, glad I washed this mug out after that last video. So, you guys haven't seen it. I'll put a link in that corner. So, in that last one, we got a new box here to open. So, let's uh, get it cut open. I don't. I think I'm pretty sure what this one is, but I wanted to get that H75 done first. So let's get this opened up, we'll see what's inside, we'll read the instructions, and uh, same as normal, we'll start it up. There's our instructions. We have a drill start attachment, a recoil rope, and let me get this stuff out of the way. We also have three spare piston rings, and here's our engine. There. Looks like we got to tighten it down before we do much of anything with it. But well, three AA batteries. Fairly small fuel tank, but has good compression. Right here's our cam. We've got a move where you guys can see it. It's kind of a neat uh, follower assembly for our lifter, I guess. It's kind of neat. We'll see how it works. And uh, look at that. Got a little water pump down here. Got a water reservoir. And they've got a screen inside of this one. Kind of like what we did on that H73 that's sitting right over there. So, all right. Well, let me get this thing bolted down. And uh, I'll show you guys what we got to do next. So I'll get it bolted down. Be right back. All right. Well, we've got our engine bolted back down. And it's good and solid now. You gotta think to yourself, you know, how many miles these things have to ride and the shipping conditions. So, yeah, I can understand it being loose. One thing I don't understand is we've got a bolt missing down here to hold our cylinder onto our crankcase. So, I'll have to find one of them and put it in. But, uh, alright, we'll push him out of the way. Let's read our instructions. So this is a M18 engine. 13 millimeter bore, 12 millimeter stroke, 1.6 cc's. Sorry guys. It says 95 octane fuel. This one doesn't have an ointer on it. This one still has a carburetor. And once again, it doesn't say anything on here about oil in our crankcase. So well, we're not gonna listen to the instructions again. This is a, uh, a gear type water pump on this one so all right well we're gonna put some SAE 30 down here in the bottom and uh, I'd rather have it spit it out than have it lock itself up so you guys probably won't be able to see it I can see down in there and see that we are slinging oil so we know that we've got oil touching our big end of our connecting rod. It'll sling it up and hopefully the rest of it catches some of it. Our mains will catch it. We'll get that put back together. And uh, I'll get our three AA batteries put in the bottom end here. And then we'll put some 95 octane in it. Well, 94 octane ethanol free VP fuel. So. Yeah. 
three double A batteries. That one doesn't seem like it wants to go up in there all the way, but all right. cute little engine. It does have good compression. This in here does not have a throttle on it though. Um, it is four cycle. It's not a hit and miss design, but there's no uh, no provisions for controlling our speed. So I guess I'll be excited as you guys are to see how this turns out. Let me get some fuel in our syringe, and uh, we'll dump it in here. Okay, and just so you guys can all see it, this is a VP small engine fuel, 40 to one. 94 octane i did have a question about this and uh well i don't know if you guys will be able to see it if i get the glare away from you or not but uh the part number is 6295 so if you guys are looking for it well maybe you can ask for vp part number 6295 all right well that's what we're going to feed it It's a small tank, but we know our tank's full. We know our crankcase has got oil in it, so we got our ignition in the bottom end. The batteries are in. Let's put some water down inside of this little hopper here, and it looks like we've already got fuel I spilled that off of it but looks like there's fuel already up there to that pipe so all right we'll get our drill start attachment ready I can get some water and I'll dump it down in the bottom end down here That's way too much. But we haven't filled up our engine on our pump yet, so hopefully it's running the right direction. Alright, well, I'll get the drill start attachment put in the drill. We'll roll it over and then we'll flip our switch on. We'll see what happens. There, can you guys see? I'm going to roll her over a couple times. So our water pump is climbed up. Alright. Ignition's on. Maybe we need to choke it. Nope. That's not it. It's spitting fuel out of our exhaust so we got way too much already close that screw down wing it over I tried to run we flooded the tar out of it It's still trying to flood itself out. Pinch that back all the way again. Seems like there's quite a bit of play in that, but maybe it needs to be to help regulate the speed. A little fire once in a while.
Let's try, guys. It tries and we get to a certain spot. That's it. the longest one yet keep going <laughs> okay well I'll keep monkeying with it guys and when I get it running I'll bring you guys back and show you don't need to waste your time to see the struggle on starting this this was a brand new blotter pad too we're already spitting crud all over it so all right I'll get this, uh, get it running. We'll show you guys what happens. Looks like it's just not wanting to cooperate. We might have something here. I'm not gonna touch it, guys. Just let it sit here and go. <laughs> Pretty promising. I guess against my better judgment, what do you say we try to hook that uh, vaporizer carburetor up on here? See if it'll run on alcohol right out of the box. Unhook our fuel line here. Pinch it out of the way. We'll close this needle off so we can't draw air. I'll pull this vaporizer off of here. You guys remember that? I don't have much of a lip here to grab onto, but we'll give it a try. Let's see if it likes this. Not any worse than we had. keeping the damn hose on there first. Sure tries, but trying ain't running. Well, all right, sorry guys. All right, well, it looks like this in here is going to be the next project. Really didn't want to have a brand new engine that we got out of the box that we can't get to run right, but hell, that's it happens, I suppose. So, all right, well, I'll keep monkeying with it, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll have it running in the next one. We'll see you next time. Bye.
Okay guys, sorry, I was gonna end that video with us trying to get this started and said, well, we'll be back and we'll have it running. But I didn't think that was fair to you and it wasn't fair to the engine, so. What we did was we took considerable amount of lash out of here. We retarded the timing because it was firing way before top dead center, way too soon. So, let's uh, see what you got now. It does run. It doesn't run great. Um, I was thinking, well, what else can we do? We still got this lane back here. We said we give it a try and see what happens. Let's put a screwdriver in there so we don't lose our fuel. Get this shoved up in there. And we've touched no settings. Ignition's still on. We'll see what this running on Everclear does. Well, maybe it's not going to be any better at all. carburetor for this and another evaporator if you guys want to see it leave me a comment down below we'll make it happen but it definitely runs better than it did on gas with these goofy little carburetors try it again I guess that pretty much answers it we have two engines now that like uh like everclear we're running alcohol so well i'll get busy we'll make it and i'll record it if you guys want to see it let me know we'll go from there thanks again guys you're fantastic we'll see you on the next one bye